Hey YouTube, so today's video is going to be all about my um, Instagram and this is my personal one, so my Instagram right here um, and I just post like really pretty girly themed images, most of them are of my lipsticks and stuff but to get this kind of white really clear um, picture I'm going to show you how I edit them and it's only been um, I've only been using Visual Cam for a while I normally edit them well I used to edit them on just Instagram like uh, this one um, these all used to used to be edited on um, it's coming up really white but it's really yellow um, these all used to be edited on just Instagram on the Valencia so I'll just get a random picture um, I'll just get this one and next and then I just used to use Valencia because I really liked the way it kind of um, whitened the photo a bit so yeah I really like that theme so I mean if you just don't want to like play around all the time or whatever I would probably use Valencia um, I guess quickly the, uh, uh, the apps I use and I've just got a little folder called photography and the th first three apps I use is Instablend, Instacollage, Pape Look or Pape Look, um, Vitagram, TextQt, TimerCam, VisioCam or VSCO Cam, PixArt, Reflection, Flippergram, Pixel Express, Pixel Romantic and Bezel. Um, I will try and go through as many of them as I can in this video so you can kind of get a gist of them. But yeah, carry on watching if you want to see how I edit my Instagram photos, which I will put some in the video now. go through my photos and find an image to edit uh, so I'll just quickly for this one which is a picture of me with red hair can you see it so yeah this is just an unedited photo and I'm going to it in VSGO cam and to double click and it says import successful right now it's here it's in this little bit here so you double click it again and it will come up big and then you go into the little settings bit at the bottom and it will come up and you can edit it and basically the setting that I always use is f2 which makes it kind of like a, a I don't know what colour like if I take away the f2 come on goddamn focused and then add f2 you can kind of see it adds like a bluey whitey tone and then I'll click that go on to settings again and then I don't really like a bluey toned photo so I'll add the temperature to 2 and it will make it this really nice skin tone colour and if I want to um, adjust the exposure I will just probably add it to 2 like that and then you go up here and save and then you go on this button here which is like saved camera roll so yeah now that is saved onto my camera roll I will um, show you a few things you can do with it so to start with you can use reflection and I really like this um, for doing fashion photography not photography but like if I'm doing an outfit or something and I want to show it off um, I will use this and basically what you can do god this lighting is so crap 
is crop it to I will probably crop it to this side and then apply and then press done and then you click this red button here and you can change how it fits together and I normally do that and then you press the green button and put that all the way up and it will make the whole photo visible so yeah I really like the look of this and a lot of fashion or like people who do lots of outfits of days use this so I really really like this photo and then you'll go on to the yellow button and save to photo album and now you can post it to Instagram um, another one is really good is flipgram and this is what I made um, this like small short video it's like quite cool to make like loads of little videos and those people have done them for like the end of 2013 did loads of little ones so yeah I really like that app another app that is probably one of my favorites is insta collage and basically this is what I use um, this is what I used to use actually before I had reflection and what you do is if I get this photo you can click it twice see it's now down the bottom to selected you can press done and then you click on here and there'll be a rotate and mirror and you press that and it basically does what reflection does but I just think reflection does it a whole lot better so you can do that with it or you can add text to it and this is quite good for shout outs because you can make really really cute little shout outs so if I just put uh, coral which is my name and put oh, go away Instagram go done um, don't know if you can really see that because it's in black but you can go on fonts oh, fonts and change it so it's like that and then what I also love to do with shout outs is make this bar bit kind of like that so you can basically just do what you want with it so that's just a really cute way of doing shout outs or like outfit of the days or whatever um, another one of my favourite apps is actually Pixar and I haven't used this for a while but yeah. so edit is this button here which you can't see it's great thanks camera right edit and I haven't used this actually so I can't remember how to do it um, but basically if I just get this picture which is just one of my lipsticks and I'm going to add um, I'm going to add a bow so yep that looks quite cool my photo album and then I'm going to go back onto PixArt wherever PixArt is that's entertainment photography pixar and go on to i think it do this oh add photo yeah add photo and then go on to gallery and then go on to um camera roll and then obviously click the photo we have Hi guys, so my recording cut out, so I'm just going to quickly say that you click the multiply button which turns it into this kind of tattoo like effect and then obviously you can make it bigger, make it smaller like I'm showing you and that's basically how you use an overlay which I think is pretty cool because I think it looks really pretty on some photos like I've added bow overlays and I'm actually going to show you some photos that I have used overlays on in a second.
When I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay Cause I could draw, my uncle was and I kept my room straight I told my mom, tears rushing down my face She's like, Ben, you've loved girls since before pre-K Yeah, I guess she had a point, didn't she?